seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bloodworth's Starfield Diaries. If you didn't watch my Zelda series, first of all, check that out. Uh, but uh, second of all, uh, yeah, I wanted to try this again with another game that uh, does not necessarily like have this strictly defined path to where you can go out and you can do weird things or whatever. And that's more of what this is overall series is going to be like. Um, I don't know how long the series will go. Maybe five episodes, maybe ten episodes. Probably not more than ten episodes. So this is not a journey through my full playthrough. Uh, this is probably going to be more focused on side content. Another thing I want, reason I wanted to try to do this uh, again uh, with this is that, uh, you know, Zelda, we had to start late. I didn't even come up with the diary thing really until after I'd been playing for a little bit. Uh, and this time I've got I've got a little early access uh, to get this thing rolling ahead of time. So uh, I understand this is day one. Maybe you're not quite ready to watch this stuff yet, so you do want to experience it for yourself first. That's cool. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll figure out how to roll these things out. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, you know I did the whole prologue thing. We don't have to get into it too much. You're on a, a mining operation. You find the artifact, you get knocked out, you wake up, you go into the character creator. Uh, I ended up, um, I looked through a few different things. Uh, and I, it, it took me a minute to kind of pick like the, my starting profile and I ended up uh, making a, a redhead named Heather Flanagan. Uh, and uh, she is a xenobiologist. Uh, so I'm hoping to, you know, get out there explore the cosmos and study crazy animals and stuff like that although xenobiologists i'm now learning in this world are getting a little weird a little weird they got some stuff going on um the uh traits that i picked uh empath uh which is interesting you you kind of like get buffs and stuff based on uh how well that you're syncing with your your party's emotional state but there's also some dialogue options there uh and then a free star collective settler this one i was these yeah these were a little weird for me to try to figure out like what do i want to go with because like i don't i don't i don't know these factions yet i don't have any context for these factions so i feel like these would mean a little bit more in a second playthrough and then i went with the hero worshipped with the with the adoring fan uh i may regret that i may already regret that but we'll see we'll see we'll find out and yeah, so let's see what what happens. You know, you get out there, you 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 deal with some pirates. Um, basically, uh, you you get your ship um, from uh, what's his name Barrett. I don't think I wrote his name down. Anyways, you get your ship, you get your little companion Vasco. Uh, you get out there, you get some ship combat, and and then you're like, yeah, we gotta we gotta go deal with these pirates before uh, anything else, right? Uh, and there's a there's a lot to absorb. There's just constantly a lot to absorb. You're getting a lot of systems in here and there, and so it's hard to kind of keep up with. It's like okay, oxygen meters, and then when you're on the ship, it's like okay, well you can change all the the powers and, and move powers from the shields to the lasers and all that kind of thing. It's like that's cool, but I don't I don't know if I understand the situations I need to do that in. I'm just let, let me like uh, pew pew right now a little bit. Um, that was fun. They actually mentioned that in there too. And then, uh, so we get down to explore this pirate base. You get a little bit of like the the uh, sort of open exploring bit there to where you can pull out your scanner and look at some things. Um, I did a bit more of that a little bit later. Um, but you get into this research facility that the pirates have taken over. And oh my goodness, this is like right away, Michael Huber vibes, Resident Evil vibes, Dead Space vibes. You're seeing these bodies laying across the floor you're seeing these claw marks all over the place meanwhile you know after after you finish shooting some pirates because the pirates come after you while, while you're just trying to mess around in this place and then uh and then you come across these logs of like you know they've been the xenobiologists have been messing around with like these sort of mind control devices to uh, essentially you know have uh, their soldiers um, taking on uh, these uh, these wild animals and using them as uh, 
is biological warfare for real. And then uh, apparently they tried to do the same thing with something that they call a terror morph. And uh, that that did not go well. Um, what else? Oh, lasers. I'm a, I'm a laser. I'm starting on lasers. Um, that came with my xenobiologist. Um, and then some other things there. So I've been trying to use laser weapons. But you, again, pick up a lot of weapons right away. Some other like suits and things. Just messing around with different stuff there. Let's see. Oh, then we get out. So we get out of that base, that crazy base. And the pirate captain's out there. And then it's like, oh, persuasion check. And so I tr was trying to persuade. And I was like, yo, dude. I, I don't know what they told you. I don't know what they told you. We don't have a bunch of treasure. We're really, like, there's nothing on my ship that you want. This is pointless. Don't fight me. Um, but I think I'm still learning how the persuasion system works with, like, the points. It's like, so green, one point, like, a yellow, three point, like, a red, five point. And I was like, and I was trying to, like, take it easy. But I think that I just didn't get enough points built up, maybe? Or I didn't succeed. Anyways, I didn't succeed on my persuasion, but I also didn't have like really any persuasion skills yet. Um, so that that went south. Ended up having to shoot them anyways. Um, interesting thing with the skill system that I'm not sure that I like. Uh, we can get into it a little bit later, but uh, <laughs> it's just like this. So you, you invest in a skill and then to like raise that skill, you basically just more times that you do something. Um, you do. So there's like parts later on when I get into the city and I'm just like running around trying to burn up all my oxygen to increase my oxygen reserve. It's kind of weird. Anyways, um, but that takes us to, we fast travel to the ship, then we make the jump to New Atlantis. Uh, and that's where the rest of this, this episode is. It's just, just New Atlantis is a fairly large city, a uh, lot to do, a lot going on there. Uh, and you get your ship scanned for contraband. You land, um, you kind of like talk to the guy at the docks, you overhear some other conversations, some people that went through some stuff, and they're kind of like, you know, just taking shelter or whatever. Um, oh yeah, the guy at the docks, he, like you can see like all the different ships that you can buy there too, which is, is pretty cool, but also like lots of money. Gonna need lots of money to do this. Um, uh, I pretty quickly got found a, a clothing shop. I uh, got myself a nice little corpo suit, uh, which is, uh, you know, helps helps my style. Got to get some style there. We'll see what else we find there. Um, yeah, yeah, and then this is when I was running around, getting... Because <laughs> it's like you run out of oxygen, and then you fill up on CO2, and then and then that's what I think counts to, like, the, do this 20 times um, to to increase your oxygen capacity or endurance or whatever. Uh, but while I was exploring, spent a lot of time exploring the city, um, I, uh, uh, you, you sort of, it's just as you're passing by people talking, like you'll get like sort of like these smaller side quests that they call activities. And uh, I got this one of this, this tree. Uh, so first kind of so real bad. side quest really um, where this, this researcher is checking out this trees and he has you go and run around the city and pick up all these sensors because he's been tracking what's been going on with these trees. And so it's a nice little way to kind of get get your feet wet, get into the layout of New Atlantis, although I was still fairly confused at this point as to where everything was at. Uh, I gotta say the the map, the map is weird. Like I understand like on a lar like a large level of like a star map and a system map and a planet map, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't see, unless I'm missing it, it doesn't seem like there is a map for this, just the city. It's just like you just see kind of like the blue, whatever topography of the planet, but not like the city layout of like okay, it's just like some some little nodes that are on there. So it's a little weird trying to like get my bearings. But I went around. I found these sensors, and then um, the the last sensor. There's this kid that like. I don't know, he, he thought he found something cool, and then he sold it. And so I, <laughs> I go in there uh, to the, the place he sold it to, and I'm talking to the, the, the lady who, who sold it, and it's just like, just, you can tell this like, just like one of these corporations with just like terrible customer service or whatever. And I talk to her, and uh, thankfully, because of my xenobiologist background, 
um, I was able to talk her into just giving it to me because that's you know that wasn't the kids to sell and all of that so so I didn't have to pay for it so that was nice um, and then um, yeah and then I take it back to him and he's like yeah the trees are putting out low frequency sounds I'm like, okay what a, yeah that's that's kind of crazy so anyways um, I we'll, we'll get back to them in a bit uh, then I go do constellation and like I said I don't want like to dig too deep into uh, the story events but you know, if you've gotten to this point already, or even if you've seen the previews, you know, the artifacts float up in the air. They make you a part of this organization called Constellation that is like a, a bunch of explorers and they're studying these ancient artifacts and trying to figure out like, what is up with this? Why did you have a vision? Uh, and so getting to know all of those guys um, and uh, this new place, this new outfit that you're a part of, I did first really, uh, important and noticeable bug here so they tell you to uh you know talk to noel to to so show, show you her room and i talked to her for a while about all kinds of stuff and then i was like oh yeah you're supposed to show me where the room is he's like oh yeah, yeah i'll give you the full tour follow me nothing happens just nothing so i ended up reloading the save and going back through the whole cut scene and the introductions and all that all over again and then it and then it worked then she gave me the tour showed me the bar showed me the gardens and then took me to my room and i'm like if i had not gotten like because that sequence just broke basically uh if i had not gotten that sequence i would not have known that was my room there's just no way uh there's so many rooms up there that usually don't seem to have anyone in them but then i, I was starting to exp i wanted to really get to know the city really understand like how everything where everything was make sure i saw everything and then i saw that you could just hop the fence which is something that i really uh, I'm not super surprised by, but still a little bit surprised that you, you can just walk right out of town. Like town is just, it's just there on the planet. You don't have to like load into an outer zone or anything. Just like hop a wall, start exploring. And I kind of got lost just like wandering around for a bit. Um, and, uh, scanning plants and scanning animals and, and running into, uh, gas vents. <laughs> <laughs> getting uh there's like all these different types of damage and stuff too uh and this is one of the things that like it it's really kind of it, it's kind of overwhelming uh in these games it's like okay all of these different items and stuff that pop up um we when we get into the shops and stuff later too it's just like all of this stuff and it's just like do i do i need all of this do i need all of this stuff and 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 even with like healing items, there's like specific healing items to heal burns and other healing items to heal other conditions and things like that. And and the reason I'm talking about this, because there's another little, little pet peeve I have so far, is that uh, when I go to a shop, unlike Zelda or, or Final Fantasy or something, I can't, I can't see how many of a thing I have in my inventory unless I like swap over to the sell page, which is kind of not helpful. So it's, it's annoying to like, okay, I can see how many you have to sell, but I don't know if I have any, do I need to buy any? I don't know for sure. So I hope that interface gets cleaned up a little bit. And then, uh, the, the next bug I had, I had, I had gone up an elevator to check out this apartment building. And then, um, I came back down the elevator and I was just stuck. I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't jump. I was just stuck in an elevator. So I had to reload my save again. And then they came down, and then there's the adoring fan. Um, and, like, I appreciate this idea of this guy that's just obsessed with you. But I also feel like the implementation of it is weird, because... So say you had, like, there's a similar character that's in Mass Effect. This guy, that guy, who would he would just pop up randomly, right? And this guy probably pops up randomly as well. The problem is, to me... I, I chose this. I knew this was coming, not only because of the trailers, but because I, I said, I'll, chose, I'll choose this as a perk. And so because I chose this as a perk, and there's potentially a way to remove that perk later and maybe fill it in with something else. But because I chose it as a perk, now I kind of feel obligated. Like, whether I like this guy or not, now dealing with him in person, I'm sort of obligated. <laughs> Because I, I wasted one of my perks on having this guy show up. <laughs> oh, but anyway, so I, I, I go off to my ship. You like me so much, go to my ship. That's fine. Whatever. Um, 
Anyways, what else have we got wandering around town uh, that uh, is worth worth bringing up? Um, did some convenience stores. That's where we saw all the food items. There's this coffee snob uh, that we ran into. Maybe I'll get into his quest a little bit later. Um, but he wants you to go and uh, retrieve some coffee beans that are fermenting in a predator's belly. Uh, and yeah, so, so that this is the kind of stuff. This is the stuff I really want to be doing in this series. So we'll, this is what we're going to get into, hopefully. Go go get the coffee beans. Uh, and then when Tree Guy was back, uh, and this is, okay, th th now this is where I'm like, oh, what? now I'm like, I don't know what to do. So Tree Guy needs some more data. This tree is causing this low frequency stuff. It might get worse. It might start making people sick. It might start causing structural damage. We don't know what's going on. But this other scientist, he's got the data. And he's like, uh, this guy doesn't like me. Can you go and try to get the data from him, you know, and, and all that. I go over to talk to this guy. He's on to me immediately. He knows that the other guy sent me to, to come talk to him. And he's like, well, you know what? Uh, oh, and I tried to, yeah, I tried to like do my empath skills. I tried to like, you know, be like, be your, fr like, hey man, like I know where you're coming from, all this stuff, just, I get it. And, and he's like, yeah, I don't care. Uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give anything to that guy. And it's like, uh, okay. This is for the good of society and the city, but okay. Uh, and this guy wants me to go into the scientist headquarters or whatever and hack in and like make his personnel file look better for him. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know if I want to get into this right now. So like, I kind of left that hanging. Um, I, I also don't have any hacking skills. So like this could go really far south. This could get botched. So I went back, talked to the first guy, and I'm like, you know, hey, maybe you just be the better man. Maybe apologize to him. And he's like, no, that guy's a terrible scientist. I'm like, okay. Okay, dude. All right, got it. Got it. So I'll just leave things for now. Maybe come back. I haven't gotten to the place where you could potentially do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, and yeah, some other little places I went around. Uh, I, I, I found this girl that was just kind of like, whatever. Uh, very nonchalant, uh, sitting in a bank, talking about wanting to become a banker because you know, she can't be a necromancer, so this is the next best thing. Uh, and then there was an actual banker in there uh, who uh, wants me to go out and collect on some debts. He's assuring me that these are bad people that are defaulting on their debts. They're not poor, po not poor people that you're going to exploit. Sarah's not into this idea whatsoever. But anyways, so... And then uh, went and found a, a tablet for a guy who lost a lot of uh, confidential information. But we got it back. So hopefully that's good. Anyways, uh, I've gone too long. Let's just say that. I've gone too long. Uh, this is as long as these episodes should get. So uh, we're going to cut it off there. Uh, but we're, you know, we're starting out. We're, we're getting our feet wet. We're figuring out things. There's still a lot of not super comfortable with doing it and under, have to understand. Um, but yeah. We're, we're, we're one city, <laughs> not even finished exploring one city of many, many planets uh, and star systems to come. Uh, so thank you uh, for, for joining me on this. Uh, let me know what you think of things so far in these stories. And I will try to uh, trim this down a little bit more next time around. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, check us out at patreon.com slash easy allies uh, to support uh, these kinds of projects and all the things that we do from reviews to podcasts to streams and we will see you next time.